Some believe we are already there. So what does that mean for you and your family? 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter is breaking it all down for us tonight. Brittany? That's right. The experts I've been speaking with told me last month that they believed Atlanta was already seeing the impacts of a mild recession, but they tell me hearing the country may be officially in one would not be a shock. I'm not surprised at all, and I think people need to remember that a recession is actually a normal part of the business cycle. The Atlanta Federal Reserve Bank's GDP Now Tracker, which tracks economic data in real time, shows that continued low consumer spending combined with rising prices has produced numbers that fall under the official definition of a recession. Typically after you have expansion and growth like we've had, there comes a recession. Financial expert Ted Jenkins says that we have been seeing signs of a recession for weeks now. Where we're really seeing it is Atlantans are just spending less. And when people start to save a little bit more and they spend a little bit less, that's where you see part of the front ends of recession. According to the most recent data from the Department of Labor, we've had historic unemployment lows in Georgia. But in the last several weeks, massive layoffs have been trickling in, including from real estate companies like Redfin and Compass, who said they will be cutting 10 percent of all staff. This is the first time in 15 years that it's actually been more expensive to own a home than rent. It's not a real estate crash, but you're just seeing a cooling off the market. Jenkin believes that if this is a recession, the impacts will be modest, but could last longer than what we previously experienced in 1990 and 2001. He also says that the unemployment rate could climb significantly over the next year. The people that should be concerned the most are people that are newer to their jobs, like you recently got hired, or people that are in those hourly wage type jobs, because what jobs go first? It's you. I hate to say it, but it's usually the ones that are the lowest on the totem pole. Now, the National Bureau of Economic Research is the only group who can officially determine if we're truly in a recession. Historically, they usually declare it once we are well into a slump or even afterwards. Ahead at six, I'll have more on what Georgians can do right now to financially protect their family. All right, Brittany, we will see you then. Right